<laughs> is a mess, honey. Now, as oh. y'all may have heard recently, Diddy had his houses raided in Miami as well as in Los Angeles. Yep. Apparently, he's under investigation for sex. He's under investigation for sex trafficking. Sex trafficking, and I think there's a possible drug connection too, because yeah, thing with the plane and all of that, and him not being on the thing. But go on, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know. It's really interesting seeing how all this stuff play out, honey, because the internet has been swarming left and right, left and right. And you know I've been in the comment section commenting, commenting, commenting. I mean, in my personal opinion, I think when Cassie's lawsuit came out, I yeah. feel like it kind of tipped off the feds a little that bit. That was a floodgate. Especially because she talked about sex trafficking in her lawsuit. Yeah. And so, what are your thoughts about this, honey? Because Well, I mean, this just is a the myth. Cassie story alone, right? So allegedly in the lawsuit, she was blindfolded in a hotel room, repeatedly uh, essayed, um, mm -hmm. didn't know where she was at times. She was also drugged in that process. Now, again, this is all allegedly in the lawsuit, but yeah. according to multiple lawsuits, it seems that's come out by now another gentleman. Um, what is the gentleman's name that just got the new one? Uh, oh, my God. Rod something. Yes, Rod, okay. Rod, Rod. So that gentleman right now, with everything that he's presenting in his lawsuit, on top of with Cassie's lawsuit, it looks like it actually created Homeland Investigation. Now, listen. Ooh. Listen. It's one thing if the local cops are coming for you. It's another thing if the state cops are coming for you. It's a whole other thing if the FBI is coming for you. It's a different level when the CIA is coming for you. Homeland, Homeland Security. Security is all of that in one, you know, ooh, let me not smack the <laughs> Let me not smack the mic. That's how serious it is. But it's literally all of these folks working in tandem together. That's what Homeland, because 9-11, that's actually where it kind of was created. And for you to get on their radar, mm -hmm. because what it looks like is international crimes, allegedly, that's going yeah. on where, I mean, why was his jet going to another country and he wasn't even on it when he was on the manifest to say that he was on it? And then his drug mule... You heard about that, right? The white boy? Yeah. He got caught with uh, a few different things at the Miami airport. So what do you think about that? Yeah, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. I think Diddy and his whole entourage think they can escape accountability. Listen, you can run, but you can only hide for so long. I'm sorry. Yeah. And, you know, child Stevie J, 50 Cent, everybody got something to say. Especially Stevie J. <laughs> 50 Cent is I'm like... Stevie J. Let's talk about Stevie J. Uh, what did Wendy Williams call him? Rat face. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's the button? <laughs> Rat face. Yeah. Let me tell you something, Stevie J. Yep. Stevie J was pretty much defending Diddy. And I'm just kind of like, you know, you got your own problems. Aren't you still divorcing Faith Evans? Damn. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you got your own problems. And the thing is... You're defending someone who you say is your friend, but he's also an abuser. Yeah. And I don't understand a lot of black folk yeah. that have been, especially in these comment sections, defending Diddy. Y'all are saying, oh, y'all are ready for this black man to be um, going down. Y'all ready for this black man to be taken down. Y'all wishing this man harm and all of the things or whatever like that. No, yeah. people are wishing accountability. Yeah. And not just him taking accountability, but consequences yeah. for his actions. You know what I mean? He tortured Cassie for a decade. And others, allegedly, too. Yeah. You know, we don't know to the extent. I mean, there's a lot of rumors and conspiracy out, but uh, what was it? Diddy's old security guard is now alleging that there was cameras in every single room. Yeah. Politicians. Small mini cameras. Athletes, everybody in any... I mean... Madagascar, the cartoon movie with kids and like little cartoons, they reference a Diddy party in the movie itself. That's oh, how wow. much that Diddy has a reputation for parties and how many people have been connected to Diddy. If you look back at especially some of the early 2000s stuff where you see like Ashton Kutcher and all those white parties and everything that's going on, mm -hmm. especially looking back at it in hindsight, I'm like, what was really going on in those situations? Because from the you know, alleged conspiracy theories, and we want to make sure that they're in the alleged, they haven't quite been proven yet. But yeah. these folks would come into these parties, especially, you know, straight black male artists that are coming up, that are wanting to make a connection, especially with the producers and everybody in Hollywood. And they would end up getting drugged at these parties. 
essayed or doing something that wouldn't be out of character for them. And especially because the black community does not deal with homophobia very well. So Peabody right. was able to navigate that and weave and create this like untouchable status because yeah. the community is afraid to also address some of that sometimes. And I think that because he had that opening, he was able to really harm so many people and get so, I mean, he's a billionaire. Yeah. You have to realize how many people he's exploited to become a billionaire. And I'm also remembering, I, I don't know if this was the same person that you were talking about that filed the lawsuit or whatnot, but he was saying something about, he was shown a video of Stevie J having sex with a white man um, showing that. that this happens all the time yeah. in the industry or whatnot. Because I think he was being sexually harassed or something groomed by Diddy degree. or sexually yeah. groomed yeah. by Diddy. And I was, Rodney Jones, is that his name? Yeah. yeah. Rodney Jones, um, a former producer and videographer, <laughs> um, yeah. obviously well, filed a lawsuit or whatnot and also talked about these things. And it was really crazy. And then I also hear that Young Miami was also in it as well, too, that yeah. she was accused as of- being a sex worker. A sex worker yeah. and also- um, Which we support that. But in this case, this is really, like, if you look at the tentacles from Diddy, you can trace it back now. People are starting to look at the Tupac situation, right? Yeah. Yeah. And they're starting to go, wait a second. If Diddy had all of this power, all of this control, some of those alleged, you know, legends about Diddy and Tupac and everything that happened with Biggie Smalls, it's all starting to look a certain way that people were getting erased because they were becoming, uh, you know, Bigger in, in community. I mean, there's a whole now the Nipsey Hustle Snoop Dogg things coming out mm -hmm. where allegedly there might be connections there. Again, this is all alleged TikTok stuff. So it could be, you know, someone's idea to create these messages. And it's important to really get the information because we want these folks to actually get justice if yeah. and when we can support them. Because what's going on with Diddy? I mean, it's one thing if one person says something about you and we always want to believe victims, but if you've got a reputation the way that Diddy has had a reputation of like Diddy parties and they're always saying like, oh, you don't know what goes on there. And there's always this like mystique where it yeah. kind of sounded like, ooh, it's cool. But to find out it's been abuse the whole time. Yeah. That's scary. It's scary. And then, you know, 50 Cent weighing in too. Because oh apparently 50 Cent's baby mama was named in the lawsuit. Yeah. As a sex worker as well, and he's suing for full custody of their children. And yeah. apparently she went on Instagram like last week or whatever and accused him of trigger warning rape uh, and SA and all the things or whatever. Now, to make this very clear, just because you are named in a lawsuit does not mean that you're guilty yeah. of anything. And I think a lot of people um, don't understand the legal system in that way, yeah. but it does not mean that you're guilty. But- 50 Cent, Curtis Williams, <laughs> is over there accusing his ex, whatever, baby mama, whatever she is to him, yeah. of being like a sex worker to Diddy. Yeah. And, you know, when I think about this whole situation with Diddy, I think about the whole thing with R. Kelly as well, too, and how these things have been happening pretty much in front of our eyes. And we yeah. really... Think about how know young about we were when we were listening to some of the music we were listening to, too. Yeah. Like, I was talking with my wife Hello. about it. I was like, we were one of the most over-sexualized generation yep. with the things that were going on, especially at a young age, we were exposed to a lot of stuff. Yeah. And We're the Pluto and Scorpio generation, because mm -hmm. you know your girl's an astrologer. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and we always want to yes. practice astrology. <laughs> we and have Pluto, learned. And uh, Pluto, Scorpio rules sex, and Pluto naturally rules Scorpio, and so millennials are the Pluto and Scorpio generation. So we have definitely been exposed to a lot of sexual in in. Well, how do you pronounce that word? Induos or whatever. In you in 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 yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I can't even pronounce it right. Yeah, yeah. But we've really been exposed to that. That was just our upbringing or whatnot, and yeah. so you know, I think. In my view, we can be kind of a sexualized, we could be a very sexual traumatized uh, society yeah. and group of like yeah. generation or whatnot. So I don't know, but is is this whole thing with Diddy, I don't think it's over by a long shot. No. I think more people are going to come out because he settled yeah. that lawsuit with Cassie so quick. Yeah. It's not even funny. Um, when, when Cat Williams said it was up for all of them, 
Diddy included, he was not playing. It's like every month, Cat Williams just gets reaffirmed with something else happening. Yeah. Like something else, something else, something else, something else. Yeah. So, I, I mean, looking at, again, this whole Diddy situation, I go, how did so many people get involved in the situation to support Diddy, too? Because mm. it's not just Diddy. Like, we have to right. be real of the enablers and the folks that were looking into money because allegedly, again, this is allegedly, uh -huh. the, was it Universal Music Group or something along those lines now is being included in the lawsuit? I mean, oh, yeah, that. Justin Bieber is now being involved in the lawsuit. Oh, I can see that. Because if you look at those <laughs> old video, did you see that old video of like Diddy that was like, Bieber's what, 14 years old? Had his hand over, I think like, I saw that, You're yeah. coming to Puffy Flavor Camp for 48 hours and they were like, yeah, we can't really talk about what's going on. And I remember seeing that like live as a kid, and I was like, "Oh my God, Justin Bieber's so lucky!" Like, and we yeah. how how we were like always looking at these kids that were in these spaces, and we were like, "Oh my God, I would love to do that." But now I'm like, "Oh, thank God, I was never in that yeah. space." You know? What yeah. do you think about like all of that? Because again, it just seems to be like this iceberg of I don't know. Like, it mm. could be an Epstein situation. Again, it's all alleged, but it's it's a lot. I feel like they sign NDAs, a lot of them. When they yeah. put those NDAs in place, like, they're just stuck and they're trapped. Yeah. When it comes to Justin Bieber, though, if you really notice, he, like other people, like Amanda Bynes, like, their behaviors shift yeah. so publicly. And you can really tell Justin Bieber was definitely stardom. Yeah. And I think as time has gone on, he's just kind of kind of doing his own thing and he looks more reserved yeah. than anything. And that's kind of shocking because the way he started out was just kind of like with Diddy and all of the things or whatever. But I, I'm i really curious to know if the things that he may have experienced and saw um, that has kind of made him shift a little bit in like his music and his tone, especially. Um, you know, I, I just, I, I can't... <laughs> Stop thinking about R. Kelly when I think about Diddy. And I think about Look the at people the that have, situation. Yeah. You know, that was crazy. I mean, the guy, what, what she was 14 or something, and he was yeah. old when they got married. And it was and everybody knew and everybody was cool yeah. with it. And they were making songs like Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. Like what? Married her when she was, I think, 14 years old. Yeah. And this would not shock me with Diddy. And so we're gonna be tuning in and and Keeping up to date with everything. I think yesterday um, he posted an Easter picture with his daughter, his toddler on Instagram. I didn't see it, but I was reading about it today. So it was a myth. Oh, my God. That's all I got to say.